Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. It is. And you are. I am. And I'm Trish and I'm not. <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because... Trish is dying to know. I am dying to know. Yeah. Somebody said to us the other day that this was like um, on the Big Bang Theory. I don't know if you guys watch it or not, but our little intro is like in Sheldon's Fun With Flags community uh, broadcast section. And I don't know and, that. Um, she doesn't that. know what that is, but <laughs> I think it's very much like that. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and welcome to um, Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun With Flags. So, okay. sorry guys. Yeah. But this is the best it gets with us. Yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got a question today. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Are you? Yeah. That's good. How's so, everyone out there? So I've got a sore throat from the uh, concert. Have you? <laughs> Too much singing. <laughs> Too much singing, yeah. We've got a question from TJ, and TJ Thank asks, you. Hello, TJ. I asked, do people get buried with their pets? What if the pet hasn't passed yet, but that's what the deceased person wants? Do you embalm the pet? Wow. There you go. So, I know you've talked about animals before. We, we have. talked about animals on our live stream earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have um, placed, uh, it's been dogs. I've never had cats, it's been dogs. Um, brought in with the deceased, and the dog's deceased also, that um, I've placed in the coffin with the deceased. But you don't know how it got deceased. I don't know how it got deceased. So if it just died of a broken heart when the person died or whether it was yeah. euthanized and brought in? Yeah. But I ha we have had requests from families to say the dog is to go with Grandma. So so. Um, can we bring the dog in so you can <laughs> put the dog down or euthanize the dog to go? And we've had that asked a few times. And the answer is no. We you don't euthanize animals. We do not do that. We will not, you know. The yeah, family no. can organize to take the animal to a vet if that's yeah, what they want to do. If that's what they want to do, yeah. And, and I think this has happened a few times where dogs have been brought in and I think the family have took it to the vets to euthanize yeah. it to, to be with their loved ones. Yeah. And if that's their request and that's what they want to do, that, that's fine. But as a funeral home, we do not participate in putting any in animals killing. down no no animals were them. hurt in the filming of this video and uh as do you uh do i embalm them um i have placed i haven't embalmed them as what we would do a full embalm like arterial embalming i've done uh, what we call shell embalming so shell embalming is basically it's the same as when i have a little gestational baby I'll put them in a bath of embalming fluid because, you know, they start to decompose really fast, a lot faster than um, a human. So they, they tend to smell really quickly. So I'll put them in a bath of embalming fluid. Uh, and basically that just preserves the outside, even though the body's probably still decomposing internally. It'll last a, a few more weeks because the shell's been embalmed so that's about as far as you go so it's placed in a bath of embalming fluid for an hour to a couple and of hours like little terriers and lap dogs here yeah yeah mm. not big huge big dogs i've only had little mm. i've never had a, what do you do with a big alsatian or a rottweiler or something you know um it would be bigger than the person going in the coffin i think <laughs> it would be but yeah they've, they've always been little terrier kind little small dogs so yes i would place them in a bath of embalming fluid uh, if I was keeping them for a week or two, if they were gone the next day, I wouldn't do anything apart from wash. Do people the want to view the person with the dog? Uh, I have had one do that, you know, right. the dog on the chest of the person, you know, and I just wash the dog just the same as I do human wash and uh, clean and everything, and close the eyes and things. Don't put eye caps in or anything, but I do close oh, the eyes. Oh, the eyes. Yeah, and place them, yeah. So, yeah. Hope that. Interesting. Yeah. But there's rules around that, isn't there? There's certain things you can't do with animals, you're not allowed to do with animals. Yeah. And other things that you can. Like I yeah. remember I tried to get a dog cremated once when we lived in I've just told this story on the live stream, when we lived in regional New South Wales and I rang a few people cremators, like normal crematoriums around yeah. the area because I didn't know that at the time there weren't designated it's... animal services or there weren't many or not where I was. There's a few now. Yeah. And people said that when I rang them they said they couldn't do it because it was a health and safety issue. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a, because we do have them now. We have not a lot of them, but there is what pet specific. Yeah, pet specific. Um, yeah, but I think the problem homes. is when humans and pets are done in the same yeah. facility. I think yeah. that's the issue. But well, I think the issue is if you if you're not disinfecting mm. each properly, 
then there's the, the, there's the crossover. There's the contamination for everybody. You've got to, it's, you're still disinfecting and cleaning the dog like you do the, the body of a mm, person yeah. because, mm. you know, we've got bacteria happening here. We're, we're starting to do the natural breaking down of uh, the body. So there's lots of bacteria around. So we've got to wash and disinfect. And I do the same with dogs. So Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yes, it does happen. It does happen. Mm, but no, she doesn't kill them. But I don't put them down. <laughs> At all, no. no, and we don't. Actually, do that. what was I thinking when you said that you had another request for something that somebody wanted you to do, and you were like, "No, we don't do that." Was it remove teeth, remove gold teeth, or no something you uh, were telling me? Yeah, no, uh, it's the um, well. One we have had people ask for the gold teeth, and you know, we won't do that no. because I'm not a dentist. You'd have to get a dentist to do that. And another oh, one no, you had... is the titanium heart valves. Yeah, no, no. Well, what I was thinking, I'm sure you told me the story about somebody wanted. And I understand in grief, in a situation where you're distraught and you're upset, you're not thinking straight. Yeah. But somebody wanted the lady's hairdresser to do her hair, but instead of bringing the hairdresser to the mortuary, they wanted to take the yes. deceased to the hairdresser. To the hairdresser, yes. Yeah, that wouldn't happen either. No, it wouldn't happen. I have had hairdressers come in. <coughs> yeah, that's I've fine. Had, I've had and many. And I think you offered that in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Were, I remember you telling yeah, me. Yeah, I've had many. But yeah, there was a situation where the person wanted to take their loved one to a salon to their salon and put them in the chair and have the hair done there, which is not going to happen. It's just not, it's just not possible. Well, there's rules around moving bodies and yeah, stuff as well. Yeah, of course, well. and it's just not, it's just not practical now that you can't have a, it doesn't work. But, you know, that, that one I did suggest the hairdresser come, come to, to us, mm. you know, or I did tell him I was an ex-hairdresser, so, you know, give me a photograph and I'll do the hair exactly the mm. same. But yeah, had that request. But uh, Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, we digress a bit from the pets, but yeah. thank you for that. <laughs> yes. That's great. Yes. Uh, hope that answered that question for you there. Yeah, Send us your questions, guys. Yes. We love to hear from you. Yeah. And please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And like we just said on the live stream, if you missed it, go back and have a look. Um, yeah. We are really keen that if you guys have got stories, like we did a couple of spooky story episodes, if you've got yeah. a little ghost story for us, or if you've got something you'd like to share, or your experience of viewing a loved one, or or something that's happened that, yeah. that you might want to share with people, instead of just emailing us, why don't you do a video? Grab your phone and just do a little video of you and mm. send it through to us. And if you have any trouble sending, you can just contact us on email or at Instagram and or on the comments below here. Yeah. And we'll help you work out a way for you to send that through because we'd love to incorporate your actual videos yes. into our stuff. As long as it's appropriate and it's relevant, we're happy to do that. Yeah. So would. please send us your stuff. We we'd would. love to see you as well as talk to you and hear yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, because you see us, we'd like to see you and yeah. talk to us. So yeah. yeah, do that. That that would be really, really, really good. Awesome. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Until, Until next time. time. Bye. Seal. Hit. Action.